In our last video, we showed how to wire up a button click and also an edit text to an activity. In this video, we're going to see how very easy it is to debug in Android Studio. Debugging is probably one of the first things you should really master if you're going to get into application programming because it does take a little bit to get used to, but the sooner you master it, the more time you will save. You'll spend a lot of time in a debugger figuring out why things aren't working why, uh, the way you think they should be. So the first thing I want to do is I want to attach a breakpoint. And that says, okay, run my program until you hit this breakpoint. As soon as you hit this breakpoint, turn it over to me, and I'll take it from there, and I want to run it step by step. So here I'm in the method called btn show saved clicked. That's going to be called when I click a button. To set a breakpoint in Android Studio, I can hold Control and press F8. Alternatively, if you like your mouse better, run, uh, and then toggle line breakpoint will do the exact same thing. After that, choose Debug App, either Shift F9 or just hit the little bug, whichever you prefer. Now, this is something I really like about Android Studio. You don't have to go through a lot of pain to set up an Android virtual environment. What it will do, if it notices one is not running, it gives you a very simple screen, says launch emulator, and then basically gives you a default option. Choose OK, and this will take a few moments to load, although I notice, and this might just be my computer, but I notice it is much faster than the default that I had uh, in Eclipse when I used Eclipse. So I'm going to pause for a moment while this loads. Now the APD has come up. I'm going to focus down at the bottom where I can see the little unlock. I'm going to drag that and I'm going to unlock the phone. What you see here, one moment, I drag back up and now you see the application. For plant name, I'm going to say I love Brayburn apples. And then I'm going to choose show saved. Now, if, if you look behind me, you see that a little blue line has appeared. And what that means is my application has been running thus far. Uh, suddenly, it has encountered a breakpoint, and it wants me to take some action. Now, what action do I want to take? I go to the Run menu, and I see Step Over is F8. Step Into is F7. Step over means execute this line and run to the next. I can either just choose it from the menu here, or uh, I can just hit the F8 button. Uh, I, I prefer the F8 button. You see when I hit F8, the blue line goes to the next line. And that means it has successfully executed the first line it was on. And now it's executing, it's ready to execute the next line. So I get the AVD ready, and I choose F8. And as quickly as I can, I run over to the AVD, and well, I might have missed it there. Uh, but what, we, what we'll see when we debug through is it will show us uh, the little pop-up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Resume, which is F9, and that simply tells the program to continue running. Now, a neat thing with the debugger is we can do a lot of good what-if scenarios. What if we changed the value that the user added? So the program's still running. The program's still running. It's not waiting for me because I told it to resume with F9. I'm going to choose Show Saved again, but this time take a look what's going to happen. I choose F8, and I can see that plant name, if I look towards the bottom, a little tricky to let me move this up, I see that plant name is currently set to I Love Brayburn Apples. Now what I can do is press F2 and it gives me a prompt where I can change this. I'm going to change it to I love Fuji apples. There we go. And hit enter. And what it's doing in memory now is it's changing the value. So if we want to try out some hypotheses, we can change these values in real time and then we can continue to run our program and see how our program runs with these different values. The variable now says I like Fuji apples. I'm going to take the editor away and try to refocus this just a little bit. Okay, so now you see where the text should show. I'm going to choose Run and Resume Program or F9. And 
and what you see is I like Fuji apples. So you see with the debugger you can look at your program in slow motion, watch it happen one step at a time, and additionally you can do a few what-if scenarios. I often say that the debugger is kind of like driving a stick shift. You have to try it a few times before you really get the hang of it. But the sooner you do, the more time it will save you. You can only do so much with system out print line and toasts. Uh, debugging will, will definitely speed up the time it takes to find bugs and fix bugs and make your program work well. So I hope it's been useful and definitely try out the debugger. Thank you.